Hey guys, this is Mitch and this is a dot timetable processor I've made. Dot time is duties other than teaching for teachers where they get time to prepare for classes while students are at sport or music or loit or something. And some schools do this by hand and it takes quite a while and computers are really good at this. So I thought I'd make a program and right now it's at its super, super basic version. All it does is it accepts names. So here's a list of 30 names of the classes that each teacher has. And then you can put in subjects, so sports, load, music, art, and computing. And then it arranges timetables for each of the dot subjects where each teacher's class is assigned a slot into the thing and there's no clashes. So Michael's class has a 9 a.m. sports class, so he has dot during that time and he won't have any other of the dot times at 9 a.m. So he's got a class here at 11, for instance, and it continues on no clashes. So this is right now a really basic version. There's a lot of cool things you could do to make it better. On the back end, you could have constraints where teachers don't want dot time. So if they don't want it on Monday, they could say that and it wouldn't assign them any dot time on Monday. Also spreading out their dot times, um, you, you might notice that it tends to bunch up the the people on the days right now. So, you know, Jessica is here on Monday, but then she has another one on Monday. Um, Tuesday here, that's all right. Um, so spreading it out during the week would be good. And even a preference system would be really easy to implement where people would um, declare their preferences of where they would prefer to have their dot time and the model would maximize to basically fit in as many high preferences as it could. So all that's pretty easy. The hardest stuff would be front end things. Obviously this has to be a web application with a graphical user interface so people can see a graphical timetable and highlight things like kind of like cells in Excel for the different time slots and click buttons. Um, and also kind of error messages where there is clashes that can't be resolved. So maybe somebody constrained when they can do dot too much and it doesn't, um, it's not actually possible to fit in. So error messages and how to work around those problems would be useful as well. Um, so I just wanted to get a really simple version working and show that it can work and I'll keep working on it. And so thanks for watching.